Over the course of the series, we've seen many pieces of plastic, good and bad. But enough about our reviewers, let's find out what games they're looking at. First up, upset parents everywhere by shooting more real-life digitised actors in Lethal Enforcers 2. For all budding cowboys out there, you can now get your hands on Lethal Enforcers 2. Basically, you can take part in armed robberies, bank robberies, shoot em ups at the saloon, and even the Wild West chase with the Indians. The gameplay is very, very straightforward. Basically, shoot all the bad guys. They're very obvious. They wear black hats and stuff. And try not to shoot the pretty cowgirls and the nice old men. It's a great game. Somehow, this kind of gameplay works really well, although it's not a long-lasting one. Once you've shot all the people you can shoot, then you're never going to come back to it. Next up, the most gorgeous looking thing since Melissa from 30 something, Magic Carpet. If I was to say that Magic Carpet was doom in the air, I'd actually be lying, but it's somewhere near the truth. You're, you're floating around in a 3D environment, you've got to collect mana so you can build up a huge castle, and you get some wonderful spells at your disposal. The most notable of which is, of course, the earthquake, which tears its way through the landscape and wonderful 3D graphics. Shoot lots of things, rescue lots of people, increase your magical power, and take over magical Arabian kingdoms. It's a good-looking game, but again, it's only going to appeal to a limited audience since you need a super-powerful machine to get the most from it. Finally, flying Desert Strike type 3D polygons ahoy in Z-Wolf. It's a sort of helicopter shoot em up a bit like Desert Strike but much more 3D. You can travel around the whole area instead of just a sort of an isometric view. The graphics aren't up to all that much. I mean, it looks a bit like Virus from about 10 years ago, but happily the gameplay is amazing. This isn't your average uh, everyday shoot em up It's not one where you can just sit down, get straight into it and go around blasting things. There's a lot of artillery, a lot of armour you have to take care of before you can get down to the actual business of rescuing hostages. You have to scour the earth, destroying entire battalions of tanks, planes and artillery. Um, it takes a long time to complete this game. We're about a third of the way into it and it's huge. And there's nothing particularly new on offer here, but it's such a solid and playable package, I think Amigo owners will love it.